Rory from Buffalo saw a tweet today with a clip of the near fall in the end of an era Hell in a Cell match after Shawn Michaels super kicked The Undertaker and Triple H pedigreed him. They said that it was the greatest near fall of all time. Where do you think it ranks and what is the greatest near fall of all time in your opinion? Um, it's probably that one. I think that one definitely, if it's not number one, it's got to be top three, right? A lot of people bought into it, right? Split second away, got the streak hanging in the balance. So that was that was definitely a big one, probably the one that I would think of first. But I want to expand that out a little bit because there are other possibilities as well. And I posted about this this week. I actually put a clip of this up on my Twitter because I was thinking about this. There was a match on Raw. I don't remember if it was 2014 or 2015. I want to say it was 2014. Seth Rollins was the WWE champion, and he wrestled Neville on Raw. And I remember it being a very good match. Neville goes up to the top, and he hits the red arrow, which is a thing of beauty. It's even to this day. Now he calls it the black arrow. Call it whatever you want to. One of the the prettiest moves in wrestling, right, is that that red arrow. And it was always very protected. So that's why I think this spot also works so well. He hits the red arrow. And everybody in the building is convinced that we have a new champion. And he goes to pin Rollins, and the referee counts one, and the referee counts two. And it looks like he actually does count three, but then he looks up, and he sees Seth, his uh, foot is in the ropes. So he waves it off. And everybody in the crowd bought into it. They thought, oh, this guy just won the world title. It was this great near fall. When you go back and you watch it, if you really want to pick it apart and, and nitpick and analyze it, It actually is a terrible near fall because it never should have been a near fall to begin with. (laughs) Because from the moment that Neville covers Rollins, his shoulder is up off the mat. Rollins' shoulder is up off the mat before the count of one. And then when he realizes it, he ends up putting his shoulder back down. So his shoulder was actually up from like the zero count. But when he hooks Rollins' leg back for the pin, the momentum puts Rollins' foot in the ropes. Now, his foot is in the ropes from the one count, but the referee is looking straight down, and he's just counting. So, actually, the referee was awful here in this situation. He did exactly the wrong thing. Everything about this was completely just fucked, but yet it worked so well. And I think even I was so hyper, like hyperactively in the moment focused on just the near fall. When I watched it live, I didn't notice any of this stuff. I didn't notice his shoulder was already up. I didn't notice his foot was in the ropes necessarily from the one count and and yet it just worked and everybody in the building bought into it most people watching on tv probably did too but you go back and watch it now you're like wait a minute that shouldn't have even been a near fall i don't care i don't give a shit to me that's still one of the best near falls i've ever seen i'll throw two more at you here one of which is the skin the cat spot from wrestlemania 25 in the Shawn michaels match with the undertaker when he skins the cat or he, he goes to He's in the position that you would be in before you skin the cat. Undertaker turns it into a tombstone. He drops him on his head. He goes for the pin. Shawn Michaels kicks out of the tombstone. And they got that great zoom-in shot on Undertaker's face. That look. Looks like he sharded. But he's just got that look on his face like he can't believe it. That was a great... That was a great near fall. And Jim Ross is on commentary. I just had an out-of-body experience. Jim Ross was also a very big part of one other one I'll throw at you from WrestleMania 18, Rock and Hogan. One of the best WrestleMania matches of all time. A five-star match all the way. I don't care what anybody says. That's what pro wrestling is all about. Hogan hulks up. Place is going nuts. They always love Hogan in Toronto. He puts Rock down. He goes. He delivers the big leg drop. Jim Ross on commentary. One of the best calls of all time. People talk about, you know, by God, you know, what what did, what did he say? King, now I forgot. What was his famous call again at King of the Ring in the Hell in a Cell match? As God is my witness. <laughs> I just forgot what it was. As God is my witness, he's broken in half, right? Obviously, that's like the most iconic call. But this one here, when he drops the leg and he goes to pin Rock and he says, he beat Andre the Giant with that move. It was so perfect. It was just so per, And I would love to know if he had pre-planned that or not. Like, he didn't necessarily know what that 
sequence and what that spot was going to be. Because I, I don't think Jim Ross wanted to necessarily know those things. But if he had it in his notes, like, all right, if Hogan drops a leg during this match, I'm going to use this line. Or if it just came to him. But then Rock kicks out. And it wasn't like a 2.9 kick out. It wasn't like, oh, it was so close. But like it still is one of the greatest near falls that I've ever seen. Just in the context of that match and that situation and the crowd reaction, it was it was perfect. I thought he might actually pull it off. But he didn't. And uh, Rock won the match, but that was the right call to make. So anyway, those are some of the best near falls that I have ever seen. 